Since the day in November 2022, all my internet fits have been about ChatGPT. This powerful AI has taken the internet by storm. With a simple input prompt, ChatGPT can generate coherent text on literally any topic or any theme for you. Within a week, it has gained more than a million users. So OpenAI, which is the ChatGPT's creator, is now talking with investors to raise funds at a $22 billion valuation. Microsoft, speaking of deals, reportedly investing $10 billion in OpenAI. That is the parent company of the popular chatbot, ChatGPT. Now, have you ever wondered how big of a size ChatGPT is in order to achieve that mind-blowing ability? ChatGPT has 175 billion parameters, and it was trained on a text set that included over 8 million documents and over 10 billion words script from the internet. This incredibly huge training dataset was the reason that has made ChatGPT so impressive. But perhaps it was also its biggest curse because part of the internet is filled with toxicity, violence, and bias. So how does OpenAI purge those sections of the training data and tell the algorithm not to learn from those? Well, the solution that OpenAI came up with is outsourcing. So beginning in November 2021, they have been outsourcing this huge data labeling task to Sama. Sama is a San Francisco-based firm that hires workers in third world countries to label data for tech giants like Google, Meta, and Microsoft. Now have a guess on how much these data labelers get paid. According to an investigation conducted by the Time magazine, which I've linked down below, these workers make anywhere between $1.32 to $2 per hour on a 9-hour shift, depending on the seniority and performance. And they are expected to read and label between 150 to 250 paragraphs of text during their shift. But the issue isn't just about the wage or workload. The time investigation also interviewed several of those workers. One person said he suffered from recurring visions after reading a graphic description. And he said, quote unquote, That was torture. You will read a number of statements like that all through the week. By the time it gets to Friday, you are disturbed from thinking through that picture. When ChatGPT first released back in 2022 November, I had this question lingering in my mind, and that is how OpenAI labels the massive amounts of data to train ChatGPT to begin with. Now, the report from the time offers the answer. It relies on this huge human labor force in the global south that may be traumatized physically and mentally for the rest of their lives. And this is the dark side of the AI industry that's been hidden when everyone is celebrating the efficiency gains of this technology. You know what they say? Out of sight, out of mind. And these workers get paid from $1.32 to $2 per hour, which equates to about $200 to $322 per month. And this is nothing compared to a multi-billion dollar industry that their work is contributing to. According to the time investigation, these workers are entitled for wellness counselors, but all the workers that they interviewed was that these sessions were not that helpful um, because of the high demands to be more productive at work. Because of the work's traumatic nature, Sama decided to cancel its contract with OpenAI in February 2022, which is eight months before initially planned. Honestly, it's not anecdotal for tech giants to outsource low-wage workers in content moderation work. Amazon has hired video reviewers to watch videos, thousands of them, for just $252 a month. One video reviewer interviewed by The Verge said, quote unquote, we're not able to even blink our eyes. And in 2019, several Facebook contractors claim PTSD from their moderation work, and the CEO Mark Zuckerberg referred to it as a little overdramatic. Undoubtedly, ChatGPT and all other powerful AI tools are likely to be the most impressive innovations in the past few years. But 
The need for humans to labor data in order to train these AI systems still remains. Now, to conclude this video, I'd like to quote a tweet by Andrew Threat, an AI ethicist. They're impressive, but ChatGPT and other generative models are not magic. They rely on massive supply chains of human labor and scripted data, much of which is unattributed and used without consent. These are serious foundational problems that I don't see OpenAI addressing. So, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think we need to address these fundamental questions first? Or do you think what these companies are doing is to help lift people out of poverty in undeveloped countries? Comment down below and share your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you find this video interesting. So don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys. Thank you.